Welcome back. In the hot seat today, we have the brand new Andon Star AD246S digital microscope. And this one has a cool trick up its sleeve. Thanks, Andon Star, for sending it in for this review. I'm telling you, it's always a great day when you have a new microscope to review, especially when it's an Andon Star. Great packaging, as always, from Andon Star. No worries when they ship you something, you know it's going to arrive in one piece. And that's really important when it comes to stuff like microscopes, which are really, really fragile. So in the box, we get an assortment of accessories, lots of uh, parts to this puzzle. The USB converter, hook it up to an external video source. And here is the main body of the scope, and this thing is solid. Wow. External cables for hooking up both the uh, power source as well as a, another external USB. And finally, we have the base. And that is one big base. Oh, wrapped again in styrofoam, which is nice. Here's the main display, of course. Also packed, packed in plastic as well as that styrofoam. Get a ton of other accessories as well, including, of course, that remote control, some more optics, a couple more lenses, uh, some stuff for microscope uh, analysis in terms of, you know, finite stuff like some microscope clips and uh, what have you, some lens capsules. All in all, a lot of extras with your and and stuff. nice feature too, they give you a separate component list so you can make sure everything in the box is as it should be. Basic lowdown schematics on how to assemble your scope and uh, start having some microscope fun. Get your digital microscope user manual. This is version .01, but look at that. This one's all in English, and you have a uh, SKU there to scan as well for more info, but really nice job on the manual. One of the big features with this, probably the main selling feature, is the fact that the actual bracket structure is much more open, much longer. So if you have like a full-size mainboard, motherboard, you're going to be able to access that a lot easier because the way that this system has been engineered compared to a standard scope arm, it's very short. But this one here, oh my God, it is huge in comparison, giving you lots more room to play with on that platform. Now there's a couple of different objectives that this uh, scope ships with. I'm just going to be using the standard 12 millimeter 300 to 320 millimeter uh, objective that it ships with. It actually comes on the scope. And if yours wasn't attached, it's really simple. Just make sure the part with the brass threading is going in towards like so. That's it. Ready to go. Worth taking note that this Andon Start does not have a built-in battery, so you do need to have a constant power source in order to get a display. That being said, let's put a PCB underneath, and wow, look at that. That is a crisp, bold, good-looking display, and I'm telling you, right out of the box, it looks amazing. Of course, you can fine-tune that here with the focus ring, and wow. You know, I don't know how good it's looking on the monitor, but holy cannoli, that is crisp. You can also use the display itself to increase or decrease your microscope sensitivity. If you have an SD card, insert it in the back and you can click the camera button right here. That'll automatically take as many exposures as you want. Size dependent only on space on the SD card. Now what really sets the scope apart from the others is that adjustable arm here. So depending on what you are going to measure, you can have it as far or as close as you want to the base. In this case, let's say we have a big main board and we want to have a good eye, bird's eye view of that main board because we can bring out the extension arm much farther than your standard microscope. We can see a lot more of that surface area. What a cool idea. So on a standard microscope, there's no way you'd be able to put a main board like this on that base and be able to get it from that optical sensor. The fact that this arm protrudes so far 
We can. We can with this microscope. Makes life a lot easier if you're working on big yeah, PCB enough, projects. Just how cool it is to be able to have a big piece of PCB on that base and still being able to see it on your microscope screen. Oh man, that is just awesome. Of course, once you're done looking at that extra large project, make sure to bring that arm back because for standard objects, the optics are just too far out. Even that tiny little fuse is just so easy to see when it's under a scope. Oh man! Something else I like about this scope is that even at three times resolution, three times resolution, that display is still incredibly crisp. You lose nothing on magnification. Wow. Just a standard printing page up close is a different story altogether. Up close, you can actually see the layered dots, dot by dot, creating these letters. Oh, the world of magnification is a lot of fun. Build construction on the Anonstar is really top notch. Everything is solid. We do have plastic on the knob and the housing of the display itself, but that's it. Everything else is solid steel. Closing thoughts of the Anonster, AD246S. Oh, this is a good Honestly, scope. Having that multiple arm adjustment is such a big bonus, a huge plus when it comes to measuring, magnifying large objects. PCB full-size mainboards will not be a problem with this Anonstar. Factoring that legendary and in star display quality, and man, oh man, you have got one heck of a digital microscope. Do have a couple of niggle wiggle nitpicks. Whoa, what am I trying to say? Well, it's a really good scope with a couple of minor inconveniences. One is the fact that you don't have a battery, so you always have to have a power source that's got to be plugged in if you're going to use the scope. My only other gripe is the display is just a tiny bit on the small size, at least for my eyes. Uh, a bigger display would have been a little bit nicer. But that being said, the display quality was utterly speechless. I mean, this is one of the crispest microscope displays I've ever seen. Anyway, you look at it, Andenstar did a bang up job on this scope. The Andenstar AD246S Digital Microscope Extraordinaire gets a solid four out of five stars. Wow, this is definitely one I would love to keep. Thanks for watching this review, everybody. Till the next one, keep on testing.